Viewer discretion is advised. What's up guys, Yo Adrian here and welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Today, as you can see, we're doing something completely different. We're rolling in a Chevrolet Tahoe today. Now, I downloaded this off of ATSmod.com and I figured let's just do something a little bit different only because I know a lot of the times where we try to get a, um, try to visit some of the cities that we haven't done yet and uh, it doesn't always work out that way because you don't always get loads to those cities so I figure let's just do some America Truck Simulator road trips and yeah we're gonna be using cars for that so we're gonna be checking out a whole bunch of different car mods and stuff like that coming up in the near future and whatnot so this will be something different I know we did one a while back with the uh, Crown Victoria mod when it came out so today we're gonna be using the Chevy Tahoe mod uh, I don't know if you guys can hear the railroad crossing over there but I did throw in that new bell mod I was talking about in the last episode but I'm probably gonna take it out because I didn't realize that it stays on throughout the entire time even when the crossing arms are up and there's no train coming so I might take that mod out just because it's a little bit of an it's a little bit of annoying yeah, here's a look at the Chevy Tahoe today very nice looking Tahoe it's a very nicely done model went with a nice blue uh, paint scheme today let's go ahead and start this puppy up now I will warn you guys it does not have any custom sounds so when we start this puppy up it sounds like a truck legitimately sounds like a truck got headlights parking lights all that fun stuff and we even have air brakes so yeah <laughs> got air brakes on this puppy but here's a look at the interior now don't judge me do not judge me it does look like a cop car I got a Garmin GPS up there speed radar and like the whole siren box and like little Motorola laptop tablet thing right there but it's a very nicely done interior no bugs as far as I've seen except for the sound so let's go ahead and hop into the paint and spray here and let's take a look at the different customization options we got today let's go ahead and do configurator configurator so we only got the one cabin just the regular 07 Tahoe one chassis one locomotive or one engine one transmission Standard Chevrolet and Tahoe, or standard Chevrolet interior. I like to do different paint schemes. And you can also do a weird template one, which is that. It's kind of weird. <laughs> We're not going to do that. Not too many different customization options you can do. Uh, we can do like different grills and whatnot, like the that one, or like you can do stock no logo, stock black, which kind of looks kind of cool. We might actually go with that one. And you got stock with the black logo, stock. And then like a chrome grill, no logo, chrome one, chrome two, and then a chrome black. But I kind of like the, uh, that one. So we'll go with that. And then that's just inside, so I'll show you guys that in a second. Stock, I think that's inside. Yeah, that's inside. Um, for this, that's inside. Paint is going to be the mirrors. And tires, we can actually throw some different, like, rims and stuff on this too, which is awesome. Like custom rims and stuff like that. This is really cool, but we're just going to go with the default Chevy ones. Throw some wheel discs on there, which kind of looks stupid. But we'll just go with the random Chevy ones. We could throw truck, truck tires on this bitch as well. Which is kind of stupid. But we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're not going to do that. Well, you could throw like different rims on it too, which is awesome. So check those out. Let's go with the different like rim combinations. And anything with Chevy, the Chevy logo, is stuff that you could actually like use. use. That's going to make it look cool, not stupid. And then we come into the interior here. We put a GPS right there. Here we can actually throw the same GPS so we can throw two different speed radars. Like an older one and a newer one. Going with that. And then steering wheel. Only the same thing. Here we can actually throw in a like cup holder for like your civilian version. And then we can also throw in the whole police package here. That's going to be for the mirrors and stuff like that. No other customization options as far as I know. Um, But yeah. It's a nice looking Chevy Tahoe. I'll have a link down in the description below if you guys wanted to check it out as well. <clears throat> but yeah, that bell mod's kind of getting weird. Um, but for today, kind of wanted to take a little road trip down from Tucson. Gonna want to go up here all the way up here to Clifton. We haven't actually checked Clifton out yet, checked out this highway yet at all. So we actually haven't checked this out either. Um, 
But yeah, we're kind of going to go down to Sierra Vista, San Simon, and check out Clifton. So go ahead and grab your popcorn, grab your drinks, go ahead and hop out on the road. So yeah, I still can't get used to those like truck sounds on a Chevrolet Tahoe, but it could be a diesel one, you never know. You never know. You never know. It's kind of different driving a car in this game. A lot different than driving a truck. It's like you're just like not used to it, so you're just like, okay, I'm driving an SUV today. Not actually driving a truck, so you can actually go right after this Range Rover and not have to worry about anything. Which is awesome. <laughs> very, very awesome. Let's go ahead and turn that off right there. But yeah, um, like I said, the Q&A video is going to be going, or going to be recorded next week, so the 25th to, um, between the 25th and the 31st. So if you guys still do want to ask your questions, you guys can still do so in the comment section of this video, or the previous ATS video, or even on Discord and Twitter. Um, so if you guys do have any questions to ask me, those will be the places to do so. Here we go, we're going to be doing with this damn merging. There we go, that's what we got to do. That's what we got to do. But yeah, like I said, it feels so weird to actually be driving an SUV in this game. We got a Target trailer over there. Feels super, super weird. Um, I remember driving a Crown Victoria in that game, and I remember crashing it the first couple minutes because I'm not used to driving a car in this game. It's so much different than driving a truck. I tell you, it's a lot different than driving a truck in this game. Different physics, too, which is awesome. Um, the mirrors actually work on the sides, but as you see, the rear view mirror does not work. And it kind of looks like the previous truck that I drove with like the black and green. But yeah, it's kind of weird. It's very, very weird. <clears throat> but if you guys do remember me talking about a phone interview at Mediacom, um, the phone interview actually went pretty well, hopefully. They uh, ended up giving me a second interview with an assessment the next day after the phone interview. They said they would get back to me within like three days if they actually got back to me the next day. So that's pretty promising. Ended up having a assessment and a second interview and like an in-person interview on that Friday after that Thursday, so big things I did end up going to that interview sick so that's probably not one of the best things to do but hey you gotta do what you gotta do um turns out the supervisor that I was supposed to do my interview went home sick as well so I wasn't the only one that was sick I guess something is going around Illinois but but yeah so they told me basically that I'd be starting out 11 12 dollars an hour um and after like 18 months I can be making 17 to 18 an hour which is phenomenal for a year and a half going up that high um, one of the cool things though, one of the cool things though is that they said that there's some, I think it's like an online college that they go through, and that they said that if you take, end up taking two classes per year, which they'll pay for completely, you end up getting a quarter raise, so it'll be 25 cents every year that you take two classes or something like that every semester, or not every, yeah, every semester or something like that, I don't know, I think it's every year though, two classes a year, you get 25 cent raise, which is awesome, um, one of the things about the speedometer is that it's very not calibrated. So it looks like here I'm going 130 miles an hour, but I'm really only going 74. So, I'm passing an evergreen trailer right here. Let's go ahead and turn the cruise on. Let's just go ahead and get back in this left lane here, or this right lane, I mean. But yeah, they said it was like full benefits, 401k with the match. Uh, drive a company vehicle, which is one of the best things. Um, so I don't have to put, like, put work or put miles on my personal vehicle. So all I gotta do is just drive that company vehicle. And we're actually gonna be going this way, I believe, for the first trip. Oh, we already passed the year of this, though. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. That's crazy. Okay. Well, we're probably gonna have to come back for that then. <laughs> we'll just end up coming back this way for that. But one of the bad things about this is that it actually has the braking capabilities of a truck. So it's not like a standard car. It's a truck. So we're going to hop back on the freeway here. Only because of that. Only because I didn't want to end up backtracking to Sierra or whatever that town was. So we'll just end up coming back on the highway here. But yeah, they said it was working five days a week, eight hour days. Um, man or Overtime is not mandatory. You can go overtime, but it is not mandatory. So you can some days you can work in an extra hour. Usually they said shifts were like eight to five or ten to seven. So the 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 latest you'd be working is like eight o'clock, so it's not bad at all. I would enjoy that honestly, because I can start streaming again. Hopefully, I can start doing that soon. I just got to get my desk, everything set up, and 
find my stands for my monitors as well, which I'm kind of panicking about because I can't find them anywhere. I'm hoping I can find them soon. Kind of come back on the interstate here. Yeah, I'm hoping I can find them soon. Yeah, we're going to merge into here. Nobody. Oh, I'm going to go after this vehicle. There we go. There we go. Only downfall is though the training is going to be about two, about a month. They said I'd be two weeks there, one week here, and then another week at the academy. Which, supposedly I found out is in Illinois, so it's not out of state like the first interview said, which is nice. But I'll definitely try to have some pre-recorded content out for that as well. I'm going to try to start pre-recording that right now, just in case they do end up getting the job. Because they said typically around three to four weeks is when you start going to training. So... I'm going to try to start now for some pre-recorded content for that, just th just in case I do end up doing that. Um, they do pay for hotels and stuff like that, so I'll probably bring my laptop and try to do some, like, video editing there while I'm there and stuff, so I don't have to, like, rush myself and everything, so. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. But yeah, it looks like we're going to have to backtrack here, unfortunately. Wasn't planning on backtracking, but we're going to be backtracking. Getting in a little traffic jam over here, it looks like. Little, little traffic jam. Little creek trailer over there. Might end up doing something with them soon. Fancy seeing an orange trailer, or an orange truck pulling them. Definitely kind of weird. Definitely, definitely kind of weird. But yeah, guys, hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. You guys are having an awesome start to your weekend. This is actually going to be uploaded on a Friday, so happy Friday to everybody. Hope you guys have an awesome weekend. I know I will. I know if you know I will. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet, but I know I will definitely be having an awesome weekend. This is actually a pre-recorded video, so... So, yeah. Just because I wanted to use this mod, and I didn't know if um, ATS was going to update it all this week, like do a patch or something, and then it breaks, this is going to be a pre-recorded video. So, apologize for that, but I did want to end up using the Chevrolet Tahoe before the uh, started breaking because of the mod updates and everything. So, so yeah, got an extra lease trailer over here that we're gonna try to pass. Definitely, definitely, definitely gonna try to pass them. There we go, and we passed them. All right, we're gonna get back in the right lane here after we get enough distance. It looks like we got enough distance. It looks like we got enough distance right there. There we go. Oh, back in the left lane here. Sorry I wasn't paying attention a little bit. Start turning on those lights. Kind of getting sunset. Got to get back in this left lane for the pullover. For a Scott's Law there. Ooh, oversized. Oversized, oversized, oversized. Welcome to New Mexico. Welcome to New Mexico. But yeah, I don't know if you guys follow baseball at all, but that whole sign-stealing scandal with the Houston Astros, supposedly the manager and the general manager um, got suspended for a year, and I noticed that a lot of different managers from other teams are actually resigning because of it. So some teams are going to have to find new managers. Astros are going to have to find a new manager and a general manager, so that's going to be fun. Cubs finally did something this offseason, re-signing Javi Baez and Chris Bryant. But there's still, like, trade talks about them for some unknown reason. So I'm not really too sure what's going on with that. I hope they don't trade them. I hope I can bypass the way station. I hope I can definitely bypass it. But yeah, it looks like we did end up missing our turn here, unfortunately. So we're going to have to go all the way to the next exit. I don't even remember having a... I don't even remember having it be an exit. They're having me go into an exit, that's the weird part. I'm gonna have to find somewhere to turn around up here, which I think I have a place. I think I do have a place. No, maybe not. This is all fenced in, unfortunately. Hauling hay right there. But yeah. Uh, Josh Donaldson actually signed with the Twins, which kind of shocked me a little bit, because I thought he was going to sign back with his former team, but no, he signed with the Twins, which kind of really, really shocked me. So I'm not too sure what's going on over there. Um, but, but yeah, Cubs still haven't really done anything major except re-signing their own players. Um, 
So yeah, hopefully they do something this off season. It is coming to a close real soon. Spring training is going to start soon. Uh, I don't want to risk the doing. I don't want to risk this. So we're just going to go to the next, next thing. And yeah, definitely just going to go to the next. <laughs> uh, actually, it's not too crazy. Yeah, it's not too crazy. We can attempt to do this right here. Actually, it's not too crazy. There we go. It's gonna use the grass to uh, guide us a little bit. There we go. <laughs> do not try this on the roadway. Definitely do not try that on the roadway. That is definitely one way to get you killed. So do definitely do not try that out on the roadways, ladies and gentlemen. BHP Pavilion, whatever that uh, company is. <clears throat> But yeah, I know we're only less than a month into 2020, and I feel like 2020 has been a major life lesson for me already in the first couple days. It's not even a month in, and yeah, I don't have a job right now. I quit my former job, and I'll have a video up on that as well coming up soon, why I did. I decided to just kind of keep it hush-hush for now, um, but I'm going to do something with Dollar General here soon, and pretty much explain why I ended up quitting and everything so stay tuned for that video probably coming out after the Q&A video so it's been really boring and tough and yeah I've literally just been doing nothing but browsing my computer and all that so I think we're gonna be heading this way right here uh, not sure what way I'm actually going yet I'm taking a right hand turn out of here but yeah it's been boring tough I've been trying to do more YouTube and stuff like that while in my downtime, but hopefully with this Mediacom thing, which is like a uh, internet company, internet phone cable company around here, hoping that that'll actually work. Uh, why are all y'all coming off your exit and then just coming right back on the interstate? That's stupid, and we fucked up. But yeah, that we, I'm gonna t definitely take that mod out because the bells keep ringing even when there's no train come in and stuff like that. So I'm definitely gonna be taking that mod out soon. Definitely, 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 definitely going to be taking it out. Oh, look at that moon up there, though. That's pretty cool. Uh, can't really pass on this road, but we're going to anyway. We are going to anyway. Even though we're only supposed to pass on a single uh, dotted line, not dotted line, but dash line, I'm going to pass anyway, just because I can. We can bypass the way station. Woohoo! Woohoo, 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 coming into Arizona right here. Gonna bypass that way station for sure. But yeah, it is different driving a Chevrolet Tahoe in this game. I'm definitely not used to it. I'm more used to making wider turns instead of, you know, these short turns and stuff like that, so. So yeah. Uh, looks like we're gonna be supposed to be turning there, so we're gonna hit a barrier. Yep. Yep. Alright, so I ended up missing my turn hitting the barrier, so we're good now. We're good now. We are definitely good now. <laughs> gonna get in this right hand lane here. But yeah, I've actually been eating in a lot more, been doing more cooking and stuff like that, because I've been eating out a lot recently. Um, sometimes I just get home from work and just stop at McDonald's or something like that, because, yeah, I usually, when I was working at Dollar General, I was working two different stores, so I'd be, you know, getting up at like 6 in the morning, getting to work, heading out to work at 7, being at work at 7.30, and then, um... Working until like three, two or three at one store, and then leaving there, and then end up going driving about 25 minutes to another store, and then working there till 10:30, pretty much. And then sometimes I'd stop for dinner, and then sometimes I'd just be on my way home. And I probably sometimes I wouldn't get home till like 11, 11:30, and then you know next day I'd do it all over again. So it was definitely was definitely not a fun time. Oh, we're going to try to cut in here with this charger. There we go. There we go. I knew we could do it. I knew we could do it. 
All right. All right, all right, all right. It's going to be a single lane coming up here. I want to see how far we are from our current destination. So are we coming into Clifton soon, about 32 miles out? And then we're going to end up starting to backtrack through San Simon and then that Camp Verde or whatever that one town is. So we're just going to start backtracking. Um, but yeah, like I said, I've been kind of eating in more a lot. My girlfriend's an amazing cook. So that definitely helps. A um, cu couple nights ago, we ended up making homemade Italian beef. Now, I'm from Chicago, so like I know Italian beef. I always get it dipped with hot peppers. But... I've never actually made like or had like homemade Italian beef before until I met her. There's actually a lot of stuff I haven't had until I've met her. But yeah, I gotta say, I'm from Chicago, so like I know Italian beef and homemade Italian beef. The way she makes it's amazing. It's not like Chicago, like I would get at the hot dog stand near where I used to live at. But it's it's I don't want to say it's better better, but it's still good. I actually that's probably one of the things I miss about Chicago is the food that I used to live by because we used, I used to live by these two different pizza places one was like bocce pizza which if you're from Chicago you know bocce pizza and they have like these huge ass pizza slices and I used to probably down like two of those in one day I know I'm a fat fuck but I used to down like two of those in one day so definitely a fun time but yeah, that's one of the things I really miss about Chicago is the food down there. Especially like the authentic Mexican food, like the real Mexican food and whatnot. Um, but yeah, that's probably one of the things I really miss about Chicago. Anything else? Not really. Probably Wrigleyville and Metro. But that's about it. That's about it. Yeah, the other night we actually had homemade pot pies. Chicken pot pies. Yeah, I've never actually had a homemade one either. I've always kind of done like the frozen... I like Marie Callender one, so that was actually really, really good. She ended up putting, like, chicken stuffing on top of it, which is different. Never actually had it done that way before, but it is really, really good. Here we are, entering Clifton. We're going to explore around Clifton, and then we're going to head back up to the other destinations and kind of explore them a little bit and stuff like that. But one night we actually had these, like, probably one of my favorite things I've ever had in my entire life. Um, it was a homemade like garlic bread hamburger type deal. Now, it had sautéed onions and mushrooms, mozzarella cheese, hamburger patties, and like garlic aioli sauce all on top of garlic bread. And it was one of the best things I've ever eaten in my entire life. <laughs> I gotta say. Definitely one of the best things I've eaten in my entire life. We got a gas station right here. It's probably fill up before we end up starting on the uh, road back home. Definitely should fill up a little bit. But we'll kind of get back around there on the backside. So let's go and see what we got going on around here in Clifton. There ain't much. A little repair shop and then a BHP Pavil BHP Bill PHP billion down there. So there ain't much. So I might honestly just turn around at this gas turn around at this gas station here. Turn around right here. Go and get through. Like I said, I'm not used to driving a car in this game. It's a lot different. Definitely a lot different. But we're going to come here. We're going to fill up. And then we're just going to head back down the way. Alright, so here we are coming into San Simon. Simeon, however you want to say it. You're taking this first exit here, it looks like. This will be city number two on the list that... We ended up not checking out yet in American Truck Simulator. I'm taking exit 382. We're actually going to be heading down this way, taking a right along with this BP trailer here, BP trucker. Using triple three axle today. Holy shit, he's got three axles on that bitch. We're just going to California roll that stop sign. There we go. One thing I do want to try to do is haul a oversized load through San Francisco. Like, try to get an oversized load through all the hills and stuff. I feel like that'd be pretty fun and challenging at the same time. So I feel like that'd be something really, really, really cool to do. So hopefully see that out in the near future. Here we go. San Simon has been discovered. We only got one more state in the Copper State, which is Arizona, to discover. Which I think is the one we're going to next. So we got an ADM plant here. Uh, some silos and stuff over here. Not really sure what's going on over there. But we're going to try to get all everything um, viewed and stuff like that, all the highways and everything, so 
Stay tuned for all of that. Got a little Texaco. That's a Texaco right there. That's awesome. That is awesome. So we're going to go ahead and turn around up here. And then we'll go ahead and get on down to our last city that we're going to be viewing today. So what we'll actually end up doing is we'll actually end up taking the back way there. Just so we can actually um, travel down that road so we have it down for our stats and everything. Well, that's a nice old car in front of us. That thing looks nice. So what we're going to do here is instead of hopping on that interstate, we're actually going to take that back road down there and actually end up going straight. So we'll actually end up traveling some more road. Get into a traffic jam here with a trucker with a double and a five trailer right there. And yeah, I'll get back to you guys once we get down to... Uh, I can't, I can't never remember what it is. Sierra Vista, I think. So we'll get down there and I'll get back to you guys. Alright, so here we are coming up on Sierra Vista. We'll try to get around this bus here. There we go. And then coming up on this exit here. Looks like we've got a cop on the on-ramp already. Definitely not turning into a good sign coming into Sierra Vista. Looks like we can't go that way, unfortunately. So we're going to take a left-hand turn out of here. This interstate. Looks like there's some more construction going on down here. Interesting. I guess you can't go this way. Some unknown reason. And I don't want to risk it driving a red light. There we go. There's a green right there. I guess. Oh, you got the one lane, so you can't go straight. Which makes sense, so it's probably not like completed yet or whatever, so. That's going to be my best guess. But here we are coming into Sierra Vista. This is going to be our third city that we actually have yet to explore in American Truck Simulator. So, so we're going to be rolling with today. Got a green light right here. Here we go. Here we go. Um, but yeah, like I've been sitting at home for the most part, and it's been pretty, pretty freaking boring. So we got about 27 miles left to go till we get there. So, hope oh, that that's an arrow. I was about ready to go, but that is an arrow. All right, so here we are coming into Sierra Vista and the city limits right here. We're gonna start slowing down here, only because we're coming up to a red light. Heartland Express right there. We're going to be exploring the city limits here of Sierra Vista, so we're going to actually go this way. Come to a stop, and then we're going to make a left. There we go, we discovered it. We locked, we walked, we achieved the Copper State. We've looked at all of the states in the Copper State right now, so we still got a few more uh, cities and stuff that we haven't actually looked at. So we'll actually be doing that real, real soon. Once we get this arrow here, we'll continue on. And then we'll probably end it at the Walmart over there because i got to stop pick up a few things for the trip back home. The trip back home all the way down to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Which is where like my garage is based out of, but I can go to any of the garages here in American Truck Simulator. So we'll definitely probably just stop at the Walmart there and just, you know, pick up some drinks and some snacks and stuff like that for the ride home. Maybe get some gas as well. And yeah, so 35, so we're going 10 over the limit. <clears throat> but yeah, look at the bus stop right there. Just a floating... Oh, never mind. It's on that light pole. I want to know what side the Walmart's on. Uh, ch -ch. I wonder if this is one of those Walmarts that actually has a gas station. I don't think so. Yeah, here we are in Sierra Vista, guys. There's the Walmart right there. I'm going to do a red light here. Old little Chevy. I think it's a Chevy. Might be a Ford. Don't mind that air brake, um... Thing <laughs> that's part of the the thing because like I said there's no custom thing so it's pretend that the truck actually has like air brakes and stuff so don't mind that that's just something something silly with this mod also one thing I did notice with the the um turning signals is that they don't actually shut off so oh well, this is a, one of those fancy ass WalMarts yeah but they don't actually shut off so they just kind of continue on so. We're going to come over here, and this is fancy as fuck for one of these Walmarts, good god. I was hoping to find a parking spot. Alright, well that's going to go ahead and do it for this one guys. If you guys did enjoy, smash that like button. Drop a comment down below letting me know what you think. And hit that subscribe button. You guys are truly awesome. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter. And the Facebook server, or join that Discord server. And I will catch you guys here on the next video. Peace.